How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take a look at the uh, metahuman clothing that was in the talisman example because I was told by somebody that there is a way to get it in Unreal so you can actually analyze the cloth acid uh, notes so you can apply it to your own. I'm going to give a shout out to virtual filmer Toby. You can follow him on Twitter. I'm going to leave a link to his website down below. He was the one that made me aware of this part because I thought you could only do this in UEF and actually you can do this in Unreal and that's what we're going to do so we can actually learn about uh, how this asset is composed. Downloading uh, downloadable learning assets. It says, as part of the MetaHuman template learning efforts, several assets were made for you to use within this template. This includes uh, Captain Brooks and the in the Captain uh, Talisman demo, blah, blah, blah. Now, this is the part where it gets super weird and we're going to go through every single step because it, I, I don't know, again, it's weird. So here it goes. It says, to access the file, open Verse Explorer from the main menu. Then you will see a file called this. Then you open the file and then you have to go to a comment in the code to get the file. Jesus Christ. This is the first time <laughs> they have made us work to get a learning example. I think this is hilarious. I'm pretty sure that if the person who made this happen and is watching this video is probably laughing their butt stuff, but whatever. Let's get to it. So the first thing is we have to go into the MetaHuman demo, which I already have. We we'll go to library. Uh, you need Fortnite and UEFN to do this, by the way. So uh, just launch UEFN. All right. Now the UEFN has loaded. I'm going to load the um, MetaHuman example because this is where all the things are. If you don't already have a project with the MetaHuman example, then go here into Featured Examples and you should see here the Talisman MetaHuman just create a project with that and, and you should have this. So let's uh, double click and open it. Okay, it says open the Verse Explorer from the main menu. So we go here. Uh, here in the top is the Verse and there's the Verse Explorer. I've never dealt with the verse code lighting. I'm not a programmer, so uh, you'll probably see me fumbling around this thing. Okay, so apparently it opened the verse explorer over here. Let me just float the window. Then it says, uh, you will see the file camera switch mode device verse. Let's look at that. Camera switch mode device verse, double click it. Unreal Editor for Fortnite requires this to be installed. Would you like to install it now? Yes. Okay, so if you're like me and you don't have uh, the Visual Studio code, you will have to install it. So I'm going to install it and I'll be right back. Okay, installed was pretty easy. It's, it's just a regular install like everything else. All right, this is funny. Because the window, I had it right here. I didn't see where the link was actually uh, located. So if you actually... actually because it doesn't auto wrap the words. So you have to make sure that you expand the window until you see the full sentence for this uh, second uh, pound sign. Uh, kids nowadays call this a hashtag. So it says find more learning content from the Talisman project, including MetaHuman Clothing. This is the link. This is the famous link. So in order to do this, it says follow link, control click. So we control click. So it will bring you to this kind of like Dropbox thingy. I was told this is a box.com. Uh, I don't have anything here. I'm not going to log in because I don't know what this is. So I'm just going to download. You actually don't have to sign in or log in or anything. If you have an account with them, fine. But if you don't, just click download. It's going to give you this prompt if you want to. Um, but if you don't want to, like I don't want to, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, the file is 2.2 uh, gigs, so just take note of that in case you have uh, not a lot of space like I do. So I'm going to wait for it to download and we'll talk about it in a sec. Okay, here is the zip. I already unzipped it and let's take a look at what it has. So it has two folders, one for, uh, I know Captain Rooks from the demo. I don't know Captain Ali, so we'll take a look at that in a second. So this is the export out of marvelous designer from the looks of it 
then you have jacket texture change um again this is just some colors now if you look at ellie it does come with a folder for the marvelous designer part so if you already have marvelous i uninstalled mine because i'm i cancel my license waiting for the free license so i'm just gonna still wait for that let's go into captain brooks first for the example you can see there's a ue example that we're gonna take a look at right now okay we have the project opened uh this is just a cloth example project that comes in the zip there are two of them we're just taking a look at the captain brooks so what are you going to find here there's a start content folder a metahuman co uh, folder this is because you this was used with a metahuman and the characters folder is what actually contains what we're looking for so let's go into cloth captain and as you can see we have uh, female tour normal weight uh, this is the combined mesh that they are using for the cloth asset by the way if you are brand new to the cloth asset or have never used it or touched it before i recommend that you watch my video on how the system works i'm going to leave a link in the description down below because otherwise some of the terminology that i'm going to go through here may not make much sense uh, as you can see we have the uh, female tall normal weight metahuman this is the combined body that you can export out of Maya, but they are using the combined mesh. So there must be a reason why you need both head and body at the same time. Now you got various folders here. All of these are uh, material folders. As you can see, if we go into each of them, there's some material and there's textures. The folder that you may want to visit is the one that says sample. So if we go into it, you're going to see that we have our clothing asset right here. We have our data flow like we've had uh ever since we made our clothing asset video there is this asset which uh now that i'm seeing it i i don't get it much because we already have the other one the other skeletal mesh that it can be used but whatever uh there's this then there is the actual jacket uh as a static mesh because you're going to need your clothing as a static mesh we can see it right here hey, i'm sorry to stop the video but this is future me editing the video uh, one of the things I found is that this is not what they're using for the mesh. Uh, they're using the USD for the mesh and they're using this for another purpose. You're going to see a node where this, this, the jacket is inputted into the pathway, which is very interesting. This is a whole jacket with belt. Pretty cool. It's very high res asset, by the way, pretty cool asset. And then we have this, this asset, which from the looks of it, it's probably an LOD that was made for a collision because it has this words KNA and COL. So I'm guessing this is some sort of collider that they are using. Uh, we'll take a look at the data right now. So double click the asset and let's see what we can find. It's evaluating now. This may take a while, so I'm going to pause it right here and I'll be right back. All right, fun fact. While this was loading, I was getting the same invalid LOD thing that I got every time that I've used this. And to me, it has worked. I, I think there, that may be a bug because, again, when I loaded this, it kept saying like the LOD thing being invalid, which was very funny. All right, so let's take a look at how this thing is comprised. Let's just hit play. And it's a little bit sluggish because it's there's a lot to be simulated here. But as you can see, everything works fantastic. And now I kind of understand why the uh, this skeletal mesh was there. It was just as a test. They probably didn't want to use the whole metahuman for this because it would have probably caused it to uh, perform even worse. But other than that, this looks pretty sweet. Uh, oh, there's some there's some clipping here. Uh, not a big deal, but there's some clip in there. I'm going to pause it and uh, let's let's just look at what what this has. So it has the USD import. If we look at this, uh, this is the USDA. It's in one of the folders that we downloaded because, uh, again, the appropriate way to use this pipeline is with Marvelous Designer and the USD import. Uh, then it has a delete element node. It says delete render mesh. Hmm, 
That's surprising. Let's go to 3D. Sim. I don't know. I'm seeing everything in here. I wonder what got deleted. Uh, probably one of the meshes in there. But then uh, th this is something that the default doesn't have. Transform position. We already know this node. Uh, there's probably a couple of things going on here. Uh, merch cloth collection. This is very interesting because we didn't have this uh, on the one that's default. That means that it's trying to merge something from what it brings on the USD to the jacket here. So it's merging the two. So maybe the USD has something different that this jacket doesn't, that this static mesh doesn't have. It's very interesting. Uh, transfer skin weights. We already know about that. And as you can see, it has the female tall normal weight skeletal mesh just right over here. So as you can see, you don't have to use the same skeletal mesh here that you're using on your preview. And uh, yeah, let's let's take a look at the other stuff. It's, it's not as crazy as I thought it'd be. To be honest, it says uh, there's a couple of simulation things that we don't have on the default and I think I'm going to have to make a separate video about this because there's a lot of things I'm going to have to just all right and we can see that over here there are certain points that they are it says bending maps so this is another note that I got to take a look at and as you can see they paint in some weights probably to get this some rigidity flatness maps very interesting. So then we have warp. And so, yeah, this is uh, the way to use this is definitely what, what do they call it? Easy to learn, hard to master. This is one of those things because we actually got the clothing running pretty well. But to get it to look this good, this is how much you need. So I'm guessing simulation stretch configuration. Then, uh, okay, I'm getting to the notes that I already know. That physics assets. Okay, so the physics asset that they are using, let me double click. Uh, okay, this is the one for the combined metahuman. I just wanted to check that out because that's the other thing that I had uh, some doubts about what physics asset you should use. Then it has weight map from LD just like the others. But it has one note specifically for the holster. Okay, so I'm guessing it has, because if we look at the simulation, you can see how the holster moves. It's not necessarily moving with the jacket, because the jacket and holster are combined. This is very cool. I didn't know you could do this. It's actually, I mean, what I would have done is just do this in separate or I probably just would have attached the holster, but this looks a lot better. And I didn't know there was a way to do it. So that's good. Uh, here it is a kinematic collider. This is something that I didn't have. So static mesh import, which we've used in one of uh, our other videos when we didn't use marvelous designer transfer skin weights. Then we have selection. Okay. So it selects. Oh, I see. This is so it collides with a very specific part. That's very good to know. And then it goes into simulated self collision. Already seen that. Then this goes straight into merge. Simulating self instructed collision. And then that's how it ends. Okay. Yeah. The reason why they're doing this is because they have this skin. Um, I'm sorry, this uh, skeletal mesh as opposed to just using if we go all the way down here into the transfer weight section, you can see that this is the female tall normal weight. And then they are using this as a collider. I'll try to make a blueprint of what I think the metahuman is on UEFN. This is for the LODs. Uh, so I usually don't care much for LODs, but if you're making a game, of course you are. And as you can see, there's the clause as a terminal where everything uh, comes up and everything happens. So that's very interesting that I'm, I, I always assumed the way that the Captain Brooks work was going to be more detailed than whatever I got 
with uh, the things that I made on my video, but this is very, very cool. And I'm, I may just borrow a couple notes from this into my projects just to test them out. All right, so let's try to recreate the Captain Brooks here in the blueprint. I think it should be fun. So right click blueprint class actor. Let's call it test. So let's start with a skeletal mesh. Uh, let me take take out this. There you go. Now the skeletal mesh is the center. And to the skeletal mesh, we're going to add cloth simulation component. And we're going to add the jacket. We're throwing the jacket in here. And there you have it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Compile and save. Excellent. Now I am going to, uh, I'm just going to go and create a new level with a basic. In case you're wondering why I didn't use the MetaHuman skeletal mesh is because I'm pretty sure they are using the MetaHuman body where everything, where it's fully clothed. So you only see the hands, uh, and that, that MetaHuman body had everything. So it's probably going to clip. I'm 100% sure it's going to happen. So let's see how it behaves here. Let's add in uh, animation uh, asset from here. Let's look for a running animation. That's not a running animation. Let's look for a walking animation. There you go. And if we hit simulate, you can see that yeah, performance is a little bit janky, but that is cool. That's pretty awesome. That is very, very cool. This is one of the best. And, and as you can see, the belt is not clipping here. I'm guessing it's like an LOD thing. Probably here it's not using the other LOD. This is the full thing. And that's why the belt is no longer clipping on this one. But look at how everything looks all right so that was it how to download the project and a little bit on how to use it uh, so you guys can learn about this asset i'm of course going to have a full video trying to replicate this whole thing with one of my clothing pieces uh once i get the marvelous uh designer license so please stay tuned to the channel subscribe if you haven't thanks a lot to my patreon thanks again uh toby from virtual filmmaker for letting me know about this. Patrons are all on screen if you want to help the channel. Uh, if not, then leaving a like, leaving a comment for the YouTube algorithm goes very well. Follow me on Twitter. I recently got a lot of followers on Twitter from my last video, so please follow me there because there's usually uh, very cool information over there that I retweet or that I'll let you know guys through there. There's also the Discord. Discord is a great resource if you want to uh, get some information or if you have any questions. And um, I'll see you in the next one.